burn, baby, burn, burn, baby, burn. What's up, Machine Freaks? I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. If you're not having a wonderful day, you know, you've kind of been kicked around, you, you don't feel your best. Well, I hope you can sit back, relax, and enjoy me do me while you do you. I make YouTube gold every day, and that's exactly what we're going to do today. So as you guys know, I've been working on this four-wheeler. This four-wheeler. And as you guys know, this thing's been kicking my butt. Like, really kicking my butt. But this morning when I moved it, somehow I tweaked something and now the frame is like in perfect position for some reason. Like, I didn't even try to do that. But the only problem is, the frame is destroyed. Like, completely, it, it's not supposed to be like this at all. Like, we have a cut there, so this support's broken in half. We have a cut here. I'm actually going to lop all of this right out and replace it. Instead of confusing you guys, I'm just going to start acting. This might be a surprise to a lot of you, but I'm just going to start hacking this thing up more. I mean, we already snapped it in half. We've already destroyed it. What's wrong with pulling out the old grinder and it up a little bit more? This is the trouble with doing what I do and having the hair I have. I gel it up all nice for you guys, and then by the end of the day, after putting stuff like this on, and this on, and this on, this is a welding helmet, my hair, like this four-wheeler, becomes whack. But that's okay. At least you start out the video looking good. Saying that, let's get to it. Let's make it happen. Cappin. Where's my orange gloves? Here goes nothing. Let's try this again. Here goes nothing. <sighs> the problem is, is the jack won't work when it's on angle like this. You gotta do it the old fashioned way. I made a mistake. It didn't magically just bend itself and, and the frame wasn't perfect. What ended up happening was this tire was on an extension cord and this tire was not. And this was the low side so when the extension cord boosted it up a little bit it made it look like the frame was straight but it's not. Now it is after getting the sledgehammer out, the jack out, and putting a little bit of elbow grease into it. I'm ready to do some welding. Time to fix my welder. Welder wire is fixed. I didn't put this stupid thing on there. This is the thing that tricked me. As you can see, there's threads on there. And there's threads at the end of this where it goes. And that's to keep the wire tight to this piece. The only problem is, is because of that, I didn't twist this off. So I will keep this to the side. But the way I soldered the wire into the existing ends, I should not have a problem in the future. All fixed. Remember when I told you that I had to get my bottle filled by my buddy? He came through, and he even allowed me to weld up the throttle from the Kodiak. Here's the throttle. It's not very pretty, but it will hold. It, it is a better job than the Grizzly. I just have to paint it up, make it look pretty. But it works. And now the cable will be able to thread right into that without having an inconsistency with the throttle banging around.
brought my saw outside because I don't need the metal flakes inside while I'm heating the garage. I don't have very good ventilation. I don't have an air purifier or anything like that. Please excuse the noise of my welder, but I have decided to finalize this piece. I already like the measurements. I already like how the piece fits. It's beautiful. Granted, I did have to cut it once after I cut it my original time. But that's to be expected when you're fitting something as nice as this into position. So I cleaned up the material. It fits in there really, really snug. Uh, this piece is slightly larger than the other pieces, only by an eighth of an inch. So it does stick out a little bit. But once I put a weld on this, I don't really think you're going to be able to tell that this pipe is larger than the others. Because this is a one inch, and I think this is one and an eighth, but I actually have one and a quarter inch. Like I said, it's only one eighth bigger. I'll lay a bead right here, lay a bead right here. This should be finalized. I'll check my measurement, and she should be spot on. Now you guys got me nervous. Maybe I should tack it up before I finalize it. Burn, baby, burn, burn, baby, burn. What the heck is this? This tip is shot. Now I've told you guys before, I do have a two year welding degree and I did very well in my class, very well, but I do forget things because I don't use it every day. I don't make a living welding. My living just requires some welding here and then. So I forget things. You try to learn something or somebody's name a month ago and try to remember it today. Well, I've been out of school for a year. So to put it into perspective, so you meet somebody, you shake their hand, you never met them before, you don't see them for a year, and then you try to recall their name. It's difficult. That's what I'm going through with this thing. I'm just here to put things into perspective. Here's our new tip, here's our old tip. The name wasn't even on the package, so I can't even act smart right now like I researched it. I'm just gonna stab this one on. Now we're all set and ready to go. I knew something was weird. It looked like my gas was off, but I checked my gas and my gas is good, so. Yep, that was it. Now my welding shield is bad. I guess it's not, not too bad, but still it's seen better days. <laughs> Get it, because I use it to see through. That's to protect this piece. This piece is important and expensive. You know, I got a whole box of them. I might as well use them. I go out and buy things and then I forget where I place them and then my welder's running while I'm trying to speak with you guys. And Last one. You guys ever buy stuff like in bulk and then not need to use it for a while and then you forget where you placed it and then you have to buy it again? I go through that once in a while. Luckily I didn't go through it with this thing. I've welded all four points. We're counting this as two, one, two. There was a gap in between here, so that's not that pretty. But before I go ahead and grind it down, paint it, I need to get something to eat, I'm starving. I'm like really hungry. I just got lunch, it was phenomenal. Now I have to go to the parts store. See, I call it a parts store, I call it an automotive store. I wanna stop there though and get a sanding disc so that I can sand down those welds, make them look pretty before I put paint on them. Paint's done drying, and the final product turned out quite well if I do say so myself. 